morning. Morning. Welcome to Strength for the Day. How's everyone today? How are you, Sunshine? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good. So we're continuing to look at the fruit of the Spirit through the lens of the book of, of Book of Proverbs. We need to be reminded, I think over and over again, at least I do, that the Christian life is a life of the Spirit, in the Spirit, through the Spirit. Uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse number 9, we're not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. Romans 8 9, we're not in the flesh, but we're in the Spirit. Uh, Galatians 5, 16, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Uh, even when we pray, uh, Ephesians chapter 6 tells us to pray in the Spirit. So, our life in Christ is a life in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And we get to uh, Galatians, uh, Ephesians chapter, no, Galatians chapter 5, sorry. And Paul is reminding us not to live according to the deeds of the flesh, this self-centered, worldly, outbursts of anger, factions, disputes kind of lifestyle. We do not live there, but we are identified as people of the Spirit by the fruit of the Spirit. And yesterday we began to unwrap this whole thing about uh, the fruit of faith. Often we think of faith as a gift of the Spirit that's just plopped down on us, but it's also for all of us something that's cultivated by being in tune, in touch, aware, uh, getting our life from the Spirit. James Garfield, who is, was one of the presidents of the United States, uh, fought in the Civil War. Uh, when Abraham Lincoln was the president and was a brilliant man quickly rose to the rank of brigadier general general and in 1862 was elected to the United States Congress when he was in uh, Congress he hardly ever went to sit in Congress because he continued to give leadership uh, to his troop in the army one day, President Abraham Lincoln called him into his office and said, I need you to give up your role in the Army. I need you in, the con in Congress. There is a bigger battle to fight here. I need every last vote I can get. And James Garfield's comment or response to the President's request is interesting, and I read it to you. I did not feel I had the right to consult with my own preference in such a case did not feel I had the right to consult with my own preference. Some of us get very clear instruction from the Spirit of God. We know what we're supposed to be doing, but we reserve the right to go consult with our flesh. See what the flesh would want here. We don't live like that. We manifest the fruit of the Spirit. We live in the Spirit, and a big part of that has to do uh, with faith, our deep convictions about God's Word, and we get faith from God's Word. Anything to add and shed some light on here, Donzie, with? Well, Proverbs 22, 17 to 19 says, Pay attention and listen to the sayings of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach, for it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have, have all of them ready on your lips, so that you may trust, so that your trust may be in the Lord. I teach you today, even you. And that's Proverbs 22, 17 to 19. And we I think what Solomon's saying here is that um, wisdom doesn't necessarily um, come naturally to us, and so we need this this faith, this fruit of the spirit of faith. And not only is that something that um, we can kind of uh, get on our own by by looking into God's word, but um, I believe it's something that we actually get from one another as we listen, as we sit under teaching of God's Word. Um, I mean, Romans um, 10, verse 17. So faith comes by hearing, um, hearing the good news of Christ. Um, we have to be listening. We have to be hearing God's Word uh, in order to know when we have heard His voice to follow uh, what He is saying to us. And I found this uh, interesting passage in Hebrews as well. 
and it's Hebrews chapter 4, um, verse 12. For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. And so faith is something that works not only in our lives um, by revealing God, uh, God's faithfulness to us, but I think it's also something that grows as we spend time uh, with others, listening to God's word, growing, um, and just recognizing that just as in that story about the presidents that John said, you know, sometimes people will say something to us and we recognize that to be truth. And why do we recognize it to be truth? Because God has already placed that, that seed of faith within our own hearts and it just resonates with us. So. Yeah, we, uh, we need to be very careful to recognize the work of the Spirit in our lives is deeply connected to our commitment and love for God's Word. It's the Word of God that transforms us. Um, we need to be a little bit more reformed in our theology. Most of us Pentecostal Charismatics who, who think it's just a matter of getting in touch with the Spirit. Uh, God works through His Word to transform us and to change us. And it's allowing the Word of God in our heart that builds this fruit of faith in our lives. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. So we need to be people of faith, not shaken by circumstances and situations. The fruit of faith comes. Uh, it's a work of God's Spirit in us, but it comes from this abiding in the Spirit, abiding in the Word of God, and those two are definitely deeply connected. So, Don, why don't you just uh, commit this day to the Lord in prayer for us today. Father, again, thank you for this day, another day to honor you, another day to serve you. Pray, O oh God, that you would uh, truly enable us to um, hear from you today, to know that you have spoken into each of our lives. Father, we pray that you would grow faith within us, Father, that uh, you would help us to, um, to just be able to just walk in all the freedom that, you're, that, that faith brings into our lives, Father, that trusting you that knowing your word, um, depending on what you have said, Father, we just pray, O oh God. And I pray, O oh God, if there is someone struggling today, that you would reassure them from your word today, Father, that you are who you say you are. And Father, your promises are yea and amen. So we pray, O oh God, that you would be with each one today. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the fruit of the Spirit is faith. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God. Uh, we'll be here in the morning. Bye. Have a great day.